Hey, Mark. Hey, Jeffrey. How are you today? <laughs> your, your hat looks like it's not breathing. My hat? It's blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like some of your dates. Ah, you like being choked. <laughs> uh, so, what'd you bring us? So, today I brought you a Liga Pravada number nine. Is it named after the uh, song from the Beatles? Number nine, number nine. Or maybe <laughs> Greg Nettles from the Yankees. Maybe. Could yeah. very well be. But, uh, yeah, so it's. Uh, it's a it's a nice looking cigar. I like, yeah, it's not I, I like it. it looks a lot better than the H ninety nine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We reviewed that some time back. So <laughs> Liga Day. Um, oh, almost four minutes. Yeah. So it has a uh, similar to the H ninety nine, but uh, it's got the uh, Connecticut black oscura leaf. Um, the fillers apparently are a complex blend that come from seven different farms. You know what that means? What? They couldn't get enough from one. Yeah, probably. Or six. Or six, <laughs> yes. And then the, the binder is Nicaraguan. Yeah. And, rice uh, checks make for a great binder. If you ever have a stomach issue, eat rice checks. Is that right? Binds you right up. Is that right? It yeah. really does. Okay. Yeah, it's the all only right. use Good for them. Good to know. Good Probably to all know. filled with that GMO stuff. Good now. for our viewers to know. Yeah, stay away from that genetically modified food. It's always nice to know actually what Oof. the food is. GMOs? Yeah. yeah. I was heartbroken when I saw Malamars. Really? And M&Ms have bioengineered food products. It's like, Ooh. what? why? They've been... Anyway... So it's a beautiful dark wrapper. Veins yeah. are not overly pronounced. It's a little wrinkly looking. Looks like you. <laughs> I'm old, dude. All right. Well, let's. Uh... It's got an interesting smell of cedar. Yes, it does. And it wasn't didn't come in a cedar wrapper. So. No. Well, why don't we fire them up? Let's. We're, we're gonna make we're gonna make little bullet holes. Oh, you I got the go gold bullet hole. I got the piercer. Yeah, that's a big ass piercer. Jeez. Yes. So you gotta be careful. That did did that come with a little doll, a little Biden doll you like to poke? <laughs> a little voodoo. Very tight. You're gonna like the pull. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Wrapper has a interesting flavor. Mm. We're going to try it, mm -hmm. and we're going to come back. Yes, we will. No peace out? No, because we're in the, in the middle. transition. We're, we're just starting. Just getting warmed up. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. So much. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? Oh, I'm doing okay. <laughs> How was your cigar? <laughs> oh, man, you really mouth that, huh? No, no. Very nice cigar. Yeah. You know, I wanted to, to mention, too, that uh, we met a gentleman, uh, Tony. How do you know he's uh, a gentleman? He could have been a mass murderer. Well, he's a recent transplant from Alabama, moved to Florida. Nice guy. He, he recommended we review the Liga Pravada number no. 9. And we so are. This review is for you, Tony. He's not watching. It really doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Because anybody could be Tony. <laughs> it's not like you just made up the name Tony. That's true. So, hmm. Mark, so tell me what you thought of the cigar that you purchased. I will. Um, so we know it's going to be a good review. Certainly a, a strong taste of pepper. It did have a, a complex bouquet, but the only flavor that I was able to get out of it is kind of a Melba toast. Uh, taste huh. to it. It's That's funny. I wrote Melba Toast down also. Did you really? I oh, did. Oh, wow. So, but, uh, I mean, overall, the, the burn was good. Um, it had, uh, I didn't get any hints of sweetness, so, um, but I wasn't able, like I said, to really, you know, get through all the different complexities of all the flavors, but, uh, yeah, overall, uh, I thought it it was a good smoke.
<laughs> I, the death stare. Well, how about you? How about you? What I got you no get? pepper. No pepper at all. Zero pepper. Oh wow. So I'm not really sure what you're doing. Anyway, uh, made the little piercing. It was uh, originally started. Hopefully, I am recording. I am. Uh, started as a kind of a hard draw. It got better. Mm -hmm. uh, nice prodigious amount of smoke. Did, did I you enjoyed find, that. Did you find that you had to pierce it a couple times? No. No. Okay. You I know think why? Some of that. I think some of that. You, you know, know why? Tar kind of. You're coagulated. an amateur. You're an amateur. Well, <laughs> all right, an amateur piercer. That's I what your ex-wives have said. <laughs> so it had a nice ash for the most part. It mm -hmm. evenly burned, as you can see. Uh, pretty well made. I would say this is a medium strength. Again, no pepper, none. Mm. I started with milk chocolate and almost like a latte coffee kind of flavor. Okay. Uh, that later turned into a regular coffee and dark chocolate. So it started getting slightly on the bitter side. Oh. But overall, I think it was not as bad as the H99. The H99 was a, a struggle. This is, uh, yeah, it's a I'll be able to smoke. finish this one even with the cap that was flopping around. Yeah, it was a good I would say this is Tony. at least a quadruple cap. <laughs> Maybe a sing tuple twap. <laughs> Four caps. All right. You look like you're ready to do a Wrigley chewing commercial. <laughs> two, two sticks in one. <laughs> so let's get into the the numbers because I All know right. that's why everybody cares. You yes. gave it a nine for appearance. Okay. I like I, I like the dark eight. wrappers. I, I but do that's lean. really not. I do lean towards us. That's really not what it means. But good. Okay. <laughs> we both gave it an eight for construction. I gave it an eight for a smell. You gave it seven for smell. We both gave it an eight for burn. I gave it a seven for taste. You gave it an eight, 39 and 40 for a 39 and a half. But if it was U.S. News and World Report, it would be a 14. <laughs> well, I certainly. But we uh, can make more money after graduation. <laughs> well, I recommend to if you enjoy smoking cigars that it's worth going out. And trying the Liga Pravada number nine. Well, you said it was what twenty dollars? Yes, I got it from. Uh, so the Cigar question now comes in: twenty dollars. Uh, is this worth twenty dollars, or is it worth having a nice smoke? Would you buy twenty boxes of these for you personally to smoke, or would you shoe something else? I like it, so I might actually buy a box. I said twenty boxes. Well, 20 boxes I probably wouldn't do. Okay, I just wanted to get a negative from you. Okay. For $20, I'm not sure that I would continue buying it. All if right. this was $15, I think it would be a, a reasonable cigar okay. to purchase. At $20, it's competing with a lot of cigars that, that may be a At little that better. price point, all right. But it's a good cigar. I recommend that you try it. And, I mean, if you like it that much, buy whatever you want. Drew Estates is a great company. Uh, it just seems to me a little bit too expensive for what it is. All right. All right. Sounds good. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.